Hey everybody, it's Dan from the Outdoor Trade Show Network. It's Sunday night, it's time for We Care You Matter. I'm here with my friend Roger Waters at H2O Tackle. And I said, Roger, you ready to go? And Roger said, I'm ready to go. Let's so go for it. we're going to talk about different models different. That, of uh, fishing lures that Roger builds. You're going to yep. talk about, um, well, we're in the shop here. And uh, I want to share this with everybody and give you a shot of that. We got uh, that's, we got some lures. That's the epoxy rack where I, after I epoxy them, I ro rotate them for eight hours while the epoxy sets up. And there they sit. Okay. And then we're in the shop here. Roger's going to talk about a lot of things. So with that, Roger, introduce yourself. I know we've done this before, but yep. please introduce yourself to everybody. And uh, let's talk about H2O Tackle. All right. I'm Roger Waters, the one of the owners of H2O Tackle, along with my wife, Mrs. H2O. Yes. And uh, we're, you say, we're in the shop. We're going to talk over some of the stuff we have, Come up with, uh, talk about a new one that we came out with after the shows but uh, about mid-season that's been selling well actually got one right here that it's a shallow version of the rubber tail i'm gonna do this because we, we were practicing and we were playing here so yep. what do you got here roger that is the shallow version of the cranky nitro ht which is half tail um it's only runs a couple feet deep at the most and it came up with it about mid mid-year and it's been selling really well compared to the regular one you'll see the lips are different I'll give you between that the two oh this is a copper this is so let's do this yeah. so there we go we there got go. this here and if you see the where we go you look so what are we looking at we're doing the, the cameras right there right there we see, go we're getting this all figured out yeah see the the lip is different it's short square Oh, yeah, you got the round one. And then that's the round one. The rounded one, you're going to get down about six feet. The shallow one, about a foot to two feet, maybe at the, at the, at the, about the most. The, the rubber tail you can take off and replace. You can use, put paddle tails on them, which I have. Well, let's go here. back to this. Hold it. Let's, let's go back to the, this is a big deal. Let's go back to the lips. So when they order... So when they go to, when the customers go to h2otackle.com, yes. that's kind of a big deal. You, you, so oh, yeah. how do you, what's the difference in when they order between, between your the round? Between the different bits? Well, be between your lips, because yep. the lips are a big deal. Yep, if you want the shallower one, which is the short square, that up, is uh, the shallow, the Cranky Nitro HT Shallow, which here, which is this one here, and that one. Okay. That's the shallow, and then you got the Cranky Nitro HT, which is the brown one. So let's get back to this. So this is, which one is this now? The shallow, the Cranky Nitro HT. Okay. Short for half tail. Oh, gotcha. And that's a short square lip, and that's going to run real shallow. Okay, and then what do we got here, right? And here? that is the Cranky Nitro HT. Okay. okay. A little bit rounder. And how rounder. deep is this going to go? About, about six foot max. Maximum. Okay, okay, about, about six, six foot. I, believe it or not, I have another version of it hanging right here. Okay. Which is, uh, let's see. I want to get everybody confused. It, that's a that's a big round lip. This is a diver. Oh, I guess. Yeah, see, it's a it's different lip angle. The so lip, what do you call this? Right, what's this that's called? That's a cranky nature HT diver. HT Diver. Diver. Okay. And that's going to get down to that 10, 10 to 12 foot Ooh. deep range. It's going to get down there. Here, I want to show this to everybody. You guys notice the paint jobs on these? That's why I love coming here. I just, I, I, I like looking at what Roger's doing. It's, it's worth the trip to see what Roger's doing. And that's another one. We're in September. Pretty soon is going to be show season. Yes. And you and I talked about that. I... To me, shows are a big deal. Where are you going to be this year at the shows? We will be in the, at the Chicago show in the middle of January. We will be at the uh, Milwaukee Muskie Expo in, uh, in down by Milwaukee in the middle of February. And then we'll be at the Wausau show and then the Minnesota show. Okay. That's, that's our plans for the year. Okay. So let me, I've been too busy showing off lures. That's another thing. Come to the shows. Come to the shows. You want to talk to me? You want to meet Roger? 
you want to show us. You want to appreciate what he does, and you want to really appreciate the quality and just everything that goes into his baits. Come to the shows and, yep. and talk to Roger, meet Roger. That's I think I, I don't think enough people take advantage of the fact that you can do that. You can walk in, talk to the manufacturer, you can yes. feel the products, you could and if you got questions. Roger's Ask. there. Ask Kathy. Ask yep. Roger. Ask. You guys, and one thing I do know, I've been with you now at the shows for years. Yes. You're a busy guy, uh, but you find time for everybody. I try it's to. The one thing that Roger does is Roger makes sure that he finds time for to everybody to at the show. answer questions. Yeah. Yeah. If it gets a little crowded, it gets a little bit tough, but uh, I try. And yeah. if any, if anything, just come back and I will answer the question, even if you don't buy. I, right. Yeah, I just, I just like you to purchase the products, but hey, if you just want to talk, ask questions. Yeah, or go I'm to there. the website. They can always go to the website. Always order. go to the website. We've got videos of as been as many videos as we've gotten of the baits underwater, above water, so you can actually see what the lure is doing. Yep. Not just okay. Yeah, looking at, at down at the surface. And yeah, it does that. Well, we've got some underwater camera shots that you can actually see right. what the lure is doing. And go to the website. Those go videos website. are all on the website. All the, on the website, yes. Right. All on the website. Say the colors. So there are sometimes we have colors that are not on the website. We bring to the shows. Sometimes after they've been to the shows and they get they, a lot of requests, so I'll maybe add them. But as you can see off to the one side, that's my paint rack over there. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, it's four by four, and it's lots of colors. Here, uh, Vibrations Tackle, Justin put on there that he, Justin's watching. He's got an awesome. Uh, hi, Roger. Hey, you know, Justin, such a great guy. R Roger influenced in the beginning, and he says here you were an influence with Tackle Tales. Yes, yeah, him and I chatted before he even got into business and gave him some of the goods and bads of the whole thing and how to actually get started a little bit, and... I'm. I hope it it helped. I yeah. hope it helped. And then another man that's on here, Aaron Teclin, who's just down the road. He, he actually, does. I I had all my phone calls, Aaron, on the way up here. My actually my battery was dead, and uh, but you were on the list of people to call on the way home. Is because Aaron's so close, and with everything that he's got going on, I could probably talk with Aaron every day. Oh. So, yeah. Aaron, post your website on here. I know we don't talk about it enough we don't brag about what he's done oh that, and the, that and real the change that the real change seat. that he's bringing to the fishing business oh yes. is, is amazing especially for us old guys that our hands are oh, shot oh god that, aaron you're yeah. you're a godsend so and the real aaron, seat is unreal post your uh your outdoorgrips.com and uh so we'll get that on there and let's get back to our business yes we'll get back to our back business, to our business. You've got your tried and true. Your tried and true. What's your best seller right now? What's your, been your best seller this season, Rod? This season, actually, that shallow half tail and the regular shallow, the shallow non rubber tail. Them two have been the top two sellers. They have the yeah, not that one, but the the, the shallow version of. Obviously, there's a lot of people that like to fish shallow. Well, the weeds. The weeds. Fish are in the weeds. Yep. That the, the, the non rubber tailed version, you can get in some really skinny water. Really skinny water. Them, them two Look at have that. Been, been my number one. What's seller. been your best color? What's been your best selling? This here, I can't, I, I cannot understand why somebody, this wouldn't be one of your top. That's what do you call pretty, this? That's the what color is fire, this? Fire perch hollow foil. That's fire a, perch hollow foil. Look at that, everybody. That's a standard color that Raleigh and Helens carries. They do. They carry that, that color. Uh, with Look at that, that color tail, that, they do stock that. Uh, Raleigh and Helens actually carries all of my plastic baits, uh, along with Team Rhino. Okay, uh, yep, Team Rhino outdoors. Matter of fact, this is one of Team Rhino's colors. Okay. I'll take that out of your you hands. Take that one. Yep, that is actually one of Team Rhino's colors. Let's go here. And that came out. That came out of my boat. <laughs> I liked it so much it decided to go into my boat. I might have modified it just a little nice. bit, but it's pretty darn close to what Jeff has got. Now, let's talk about the tails. Tails. Yes, you can, well, there's paddle well, tails and regular tails, and it's replaceable. Well, here's another one. That's what I wanted to get to is that part of 
is, no. and it has a lot to do with vibrations tackle, and kind of almost on the you same could, kind of a policy. Yes, but you could probably. I heard Justin has probably got a ta uh, a blade that would use that tail. But here's here's what I'm trying to get to is let's take one and take one off. But you could put a white tail on here. You could put a purple tail. Yeah, there you'll get there. Very good angle. Oh, there we go. There, and you can just screw it off. There it is. Done. And that's what you got. And that's There's the spring. There you go. The yeah, other way around. Right Come your way. Come your there way. We hey. There we go. There we go. There we go. And you just screw it back on. But make sure you, you put one of the hooks of your back yep. well, hook set into the... It keeps it helps keep the tail on there. Yes. It's, it, no, it really doesn't... It's not necessary to keep the tail no, on. No. The tails. The do you hook, make the tails or... This, it's my design. That's your design. This tail will actually work on the small hardhead that Phantom Lures has got. Um, that's that's all my design. Wow. Um, the hooks is just to get Let's it up out this. of the way. The hook okay. in, the, in the rubber is just to get it up and out of the way. Oh, okay. That's all it's there for. That's all it's there oh, for. Oh, gotcha. And, and it, so it doesn't tangle. Oh, so okay. To See, prevent the tangling. I'm glad I asked. Yes. I thought it had to do with holding the tail on, but it's no, not. No, the spring does just fine. The spring does fine. Yep, okay. You, you can't, it's, if that's ripping the tail off, you're pulling a lot harder on it than any fish. What What I like so much about this and what you're doing in, is that guys love different colors. They like changing colors. They can't help themselves. It's human nature. We can't, and especially yes. if we're having a slow day. Yes. You get frustrated. You're going to change colors. It's yes. so easy to do that. Yes. It's you so easy just, with your lures. To just screw another tail to just, on. Or, you know, you got your buddy. You got it. You're, you're running the black tail here. He just caught a fisher. He had two fouls with a white tail. You can really easily change and put a white tail yes. on here. Uh, purple tail, uh, yes. chartreuse tail. You can... It, and if you want to get creative, you do not really have to use one of my tails. Okay. If you've got another tail that is the approximate size, or even a little smaller, I wouldn't go bigger, but approximate size, Yeah. put it on there. Yeah. Give it, it a try. Screw it on. You might do something. I have a customer that's taken Muskie Innovations Shallowrator tails and made it, uh. made it, made it work. Uh, he's trimmed it down and put, and, and put it on there. Because, wow. Because it's a spring and it just screws on there. Yeah. The thing is, if you are working it and it's running crooked, you not do like a normal crankbait and tune on the front wire tie. You turn the tail. If, it, if the bait is running crooked off to one side, you turn the tail. The tail is a very big rudder. Plain and simple. You keep that in your mind. It's a big rudder. Right. Tail down, tail up. It makes a difference. Makes a difference. Yep. It's a big rudder, so it's going to want it to okay. go shallow. You might get a little funny little moves. but I did not hey. know that either. Yes. So it's now it. sideways, how about sideways? Is it going to make it, oh, is it, is it, gonna make it wander? Put, yeah, it probably meant to do some funny tricks. How it's much not going to run true. It's not going to run. So it's not going to run true. If your bait, if you're pulling your bait back and it's not running true and you get frustrated, turn it's in how you, it's, it's, it's what you did with it, the tail. You turn the tail. Okay. Turn the tail. Do not bend on the front. Turn the tail. Okay. So, another question. Did you just start this year or have you had the paddle tails before? We talked. I've had the paddle tails before. Before. And speaking of paddle tails. Okay. We on um, now for this year. This this is my barbarian. Yeah, with the rubber barbarian, tail, the barbarian ST. Now it's got the rubber tail on it. This year, starting this year, the mold is made. I just have to get some made. I will have a paddle tail available. Here, I'll take that. Well, I want to show. Let me do this before I okay. end up sticking myself with a hook. I want to do this. Okay. I want to just show people the best way that I can. There, that shows it up real nice. That is your system for attaching a, uh, yep. a rubber uh, synthetic. What do you call it? These are synthetic tails, so rubber plastisol, tail? rubber tail. Plastic? Most people just say generic rubber, but it's generic it's plastisol. But that's the same stuff that that's Roger's and system. Stuff are made. I wanted to show everybody the best that I can. That it's, this is quite unique. This is actually pretty. It's 
it's it, pretty neat what you do here. It's got a center center pin on it. It helps. It makes it a little bit more user friendly for well, it screwing helps the when tail you're on. screwing it in. Keeps it true. It helps to yeah, keep it, it true, keep but it you true. just hold it up. You put the two together and start turning. Okay. Push and turn. Push and turn. Now I'm going to show this one to everybody. Let's do this. This is nice. Now this everybody. So you got the rattle. You got the rattles in it. Yes. Look at this here. And we've talked about this bait. This is this is quite a bait here. This is quite a bait that Roger's got here. And then here's the other one is it attaches two line ties. Two line ties. Gives a little bit difference in depth, a little bit difference in action. The back line tie will actually intensify the sound of the rattles inside. It will. If you yeah, if you switch to will the back make it, one, will they make it run louder. deeper? Will they make them run just, deeper? Or just shallower? a little, maybe about a foot. There's a foot, foot and a half, maybe that's about it. And I would think too. So if you if you tie it on the back, will it run like this? Will it come back? Will it will it? It'll, so it'll let make me it, do this. It'll let make it run a little this. bit more nose down. Yes. A little bit more nose. So if you're in rocks or if you're in uh, some kind of Sand, well, you, you might run, get even snagged. Run across the bottom. You run across the bottom. Maybe the back one, because you, you're going to turn up more. Yeah, if you're going to run it into rocks, the nose is going to get beat up. That's just the name of That's the game. That's just the way it works. That's just the way it works. It does have a weight insert on the bottom also, where you can screw and add in weight. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't if, know you, that. if you want it to sink fast, it sinks, sinks a lot slower than than a bass a bass style bait rattle bait. Wow. Uh, so if you want it to sink fast. You can screw some weight on it. You want okay. to jig it? You can jig it. You can screw in an ounce, ounce and a half, and you can jig away with it. There's multiple, multiple things. Okay. Now my cousin Matt's on there. Awesome. Are you broadcasting from his shop? Yeah, Matt. We're in, we're in, we're in Roger's shop. And yep. there you go. There's, There's the, the rack turning. We got the rack turning with the lures going on it, and I'm admiring everything that he's got going on here. And hey. be, behind us is the paint booth. Behind is the pay booth. His main well, booth. I want to bring this up to everybody. Now, if, if Matt, if I'm wrong here, post on here if I'm wrong, but I, aren't you in Europe or you're on your way to Europe and he's jumping. He was with what's called the Veteran Parachute Battalion and he was one of the guys that you saw on TV that parachuted into Normandy for the 75th anniversary okay. of D-Day. Cool. Cool. So Matt was an Army Ranger back in the, uh, what, middle or late 80s, and then he was a Border Patrolman for 20 years. He was in the Army 20 years, and then Border mm -hmm. Patrol 20 years. And then um, he parachuted into Normandy for the D-Day invasion, and all in the old uh, vintage, mm -hmm. all the, what they wore that day. And now he's back in Europe for, Matt, and post on here, if you would, let everybody know that you're parachuting in for I can't remember what the operation was called, but it was that bridge too far where they oh. did the movie too far, yep. and it was the bridge at Ramagan or whatever. But mm -hmm. Matt's doing that parachute drop. Cool. Where that uh, uh, whatever it was that they did, mm -hmm. that was another anniversary for World War II, which was that was a huge uh, uh, airborne drop. And so Matt's over in Europe. He's either on your way or uh, leaving for the Netherlands tomorrow. Jumping in to commemorate the 75th anniversary of Operation Market Garden. Nice. So that'd be my cousin Matt, who's watching us right now. Nice. And he's going to be parachuting in. They wear, they wear all the old mm -hmm. um, World War II uniforms. Pretty cool. They jump out of World War II planes. Nice. Yeah, I had an uncle that was actually one of the paratroopers in, Nor in Normandy. I'll be darned. And, well, he's passed now, but he didn't talk about it much. Yeah. He, had a rough he, need, he needed a little alcohol to get him to talk. Well, about here's it. the other one. I try to explain this to people all the time. Is that the reason that you and I are able to do what we're doing right now? The reason that we're all live a nice life here yep. is because of these guys. Yes. And yes. I wish people would understand that a little bit more. That my life is really nice because a lot of people sacrifice their lives. Yes. And we need to respect that. Yes. And we Extremely. need to understand that. We owe those people a debt. Yes. That we're able to live the nice life that we have for that. And Matt, thanks. Let everybody, like I said, know that you're, you know, you're parachuting in the Operation Market Garden. But nice. I thought he, either you left yesterday, but you're leaving today for the Netherlands. Nice. 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 Okay, let's get back to what we're doing here. Okay. We're talking about these, I love these lures. So, what else are we going to show? What else are we going to show? Oh, we can grab something else back here. How about my oh, Orton? let's show one with a weight on it. Let's yeah. show everybody 
This is my walk the dog Orton. Your Dude, what? This is the Orton. It's actually not, the word nitro spelled backwards. Because it's, ah. it's an upside down glyphosate. If you look at the crankbait, that's the body shape. That's you didn't show me that before. Uh, maybe not. I got, I've been having, I've had it for a while. I just yeah. haven't really. So let's do this. But you gotta flip it back around. Okay. First, I'm gonna show it like that's my crankbait. Oh. Now you flip it. That's the way it is. It's starting. It's got a nice curve on the on the, on the belly. Oh. And it's got weight inserts so you can screw in weight on the bottom and on the top. And on this particular so, version... So, okay, now what would be the reasoning, if I was to screw weights in on the bottom and the top, what would be my reason to do that? By screwing weights in the top, it belly rolls more. Because it is a, this is actually a flat-sided walk-the-dog topwater. It's it's not round. There's not... I don't know of too many out there that, are, that aren't round. Let me show this one. Oh, I like this one. Yep. Let's and show this here. Look at this, everybody. That's... Yeah. Isn't that sweet? And then so Look you add a little that. weight to the top and it belly rolls even more where it lays almost completely over on well, its here. side. As a guy that just goes out and does stuff, I'm I'm first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this like this and I'm gonna cause this is how you would this normally is, think about it. Yeah, yeah, this is how you normally and I'd be like, uh oh, Roger made a mistake. I'm gonna be calling Roger up <laughs> and saying Roger, you got this lure you sent me, and it's wrong, <laughs> you know, because I'm looking at it, and it's not. Nope. That's the way. That's got the curve on the top, does what I so, wanted it to do. This is, Yep. boy, this is something different. They haven't seen this. No, there's a few baits out there, top water baits that's got that. It allows it to sink lower in the water to make the sound change this by adding and subtracting weight. I'm show sure. everybody this. Three like, quarters of an ounce actually gets it to where it's out of the water and in the wa underwater. It's it's just on the edge of being. What kind of action does it does it have? It's a Let's walk, do this. basically get, a walk the dog. It's a, like a walk the dog. It's a walk walk the dog. Yes, with, with with belly roll, and then this one that's got the blade on the bottom. If you just crank it straight back, this blade hits on there and it makes a flap tail. Makes sound. a flap tail sound. So I'll and then you darn. can you can walk it. And flap tail it all in the same cast. Okay, all it's all cast. about honoring those. His uncle who who did the real thing, Matt on there. Exactly, Dan. It's all about honoring those. Yes. Uh, like his uncle who did the real the, the real thing. Yeah. Yes, he did. We all have a big debt. Like I said, I, I just wish people. There's a lot of you know we're not going to get into a lot. A lot of complaining and moaning and going on. You got a good life. You got a nice life. Yes. And, and the reason for that is a lot of people made a lot of sacrifices so we could live the way in, we in live. In the past, yes. Yes. So, you know, I like this stuff. Here's another one. Now, did you have these last year in the booth? Mm-hmm. How did I miss? I guess oh, I'm too I'll busy looking at the other. Yeah, I might have had it off to one side a little bit. but I missed I, these. My booth is pretty full. Or so it's easy did you have miss. them like this? Probably. Ah, see, that's how I missed it. See, if you had them like this, I, I but if I just saw this, it'd be like, whoa, what is that? Yeah, I might have had them hanging out on the tower. Sometimes I have a little tower in okay. front of them. You're always busy, though, too, and I don't want to come in and interrupt you. I don't, yeah. you know, you're busy talking to your customers. You and I can talk anytime. Yes. That, at the show, you're busy with your customers. Um, uh, lots of thought and work went into the engineering of that lure. Yeah, okay. yeah. A little yes. bit. Yes. I get kind of crazy at times and kind of try to be a little creative. Yes. I'm yes. always working on something. Always okay. working on something. Are you going to have anything new at the shows this year? Um, I Well, for sure I'll have that paddle tail for the back of the, S, okay. the, bar, the Barbarian STs. Uh, I'm, I, I actually show you something I'm working on. I am working on an 8-inch version of my crankbait. It's just like the smaller ones, only an eight inch. I'm working on it. I don't know if we'll be able to get them enough for the show. Enough for the show or get them ready for the show, but it's it's something that I've been working on. I've got it figured out. I just gotta find the time to actually. I got make a them. question. Are you gonna do the same with the lips that you do with your others? Where they, they'll do two feet, they'll do six feet, and then they would um, do deeper put this in the way, eight inch. Put it this way, I'll try. You'll try. <laughs> okay. It, it, I hate it, to put you on the spot, but well, you know. I will try that. Yes, I, whether I can actually get it to behave and do that way, you don't know until you try. Okay. You know, I'll usually you have to play around with the lips to. 
to get them to do what you want it to do. And yes. if I can figure out the right combination and the fish like them. I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to let everybody go watch with. the the lures spinning around on the wheel there for a bit. That's nice stuff. That's, that's, it's just nice. It's, it's, uh. I enjoy coming up here and seeing Roger. What else are we gonna cover here? Um, well, let's see. Well, that's all the stuff we got hanging well, in the Well, how about the little there. short guy you got? That's one of my glide baits. I've been working on trying to get that dialed in, okay. which I haven't figured out, but and then again. More time on the water. That takes more time on the water, yeah, too. I've got, it, I've got it figured out, and it catches fish. I just gotta find the time to actually get it dialed, made in, and dialed in, made and produced, and. It's not as easy as everybody thinks to oh, no. produce them. That rack that you saw rotating back there, that rot rotates for about eight hours, and I get get uh, two coats, two to three coats on each lure. Epoxy. Epoxy. Yeah. And that takes time. Yeah, it does. And then it takes time. to paint them, if you see what's hanging here in the back, that's one batch. We got some more laying over here. It's the next batch, and this is always a nice place to come. Trying to. It's it's nice here. Yeah. Always working on different things and. You know, say I'm creative. I got a couple different other things that I've been playing with, and I really don't want to show them because then somebody will want them. I will give a little teaser though. Okay, okay. This, I'm not even going to give them a close up of this one. This is a clevis for a bucktail. Oh. And the cool thing about this, and this isn't even the main thing, is I can ch put blades on there and I can change the blades in 30 seconds. Oh, oh, that's, that's a that, teaser, that's a teaser. That isn't even the big thing about this. It does something that it nothing's ever been done. Matter of fact, it's patent pending. Oh, the patent my gosh. Is, It is patent applied for. Well. And hopefully I can get it, get everything produced and ready for the shows. We'll see. Okay. But uh, all I can do is kind of hand pour them here at home and... And try them right there, but that's about all I can do with them right okay. now. But I'm trying to get them into production. Well, but yeah, it's yeah, little little. I'll help little if feature. I can. If, yeah. you, if there's anything I can do to help, yeah. if there's anything we can do, yeah. I'd like to help you. But yeah, uh, when when I'm when I'm ready, and I get it out to a few more people. But okay, it catches fish, and I said it does things that you will just shake your head and go what. <laughs> So there we go. We got h2otackle.com. Your Roger Waters. Yep. Um, website looks nice. I looked at it. Kathy's changed it from the last time I looked at yep. it. Kathy's always making some updates. Yeah. And when we and get it, some it looks nice. When we get some video, sh new video shot, we try to get that up there. And I know you're very accessible. Your, you know, customer service is a big deal. I, yeah, People yes. have questions. People would, you know, they're just. Hey, Roger, what about this? What about that? You're easy to get a hold of, easy to talk to. Yes, um, I try. Another one that I know is pretty decent is is if we go to, let's do this. We'll go to your Facebook page, which is H2O Tackle. Yep, and H2O you can Tackle. post on there. You can look at stuff. You uh, can message, message, message me you on there. On yeah, Facebook, great. If, it's, if it's easier for you to just go into Facebook Messenger, go to H2O Tackle's Facebook page and message me and ask a question. Okay. Okay. If, it, if that's easier than going, you know, sometimes that's gotten easier than going to the websites anymore. Is it just going messenger on Facebook? <laughs> it is kind of crazy, isn't it? It is. It's and like, it changes. oh, yeah, okay, bum, 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 and there, you get your question's already asked. And tomorrow we think we got this figured out. There'll be something else. It's, that, it's So it's, and then we also talked about this is that you've got, you just uploaded, you said a couple of videos. Uh, all, the, I, all the videos that are, they're on the website, but they're also on YouTube. They're on YouTube, also which on is H two O Tackle. H two O Tackle's your, YouTube channel. Yeah, yep. and those are nice. Those are nice looking. Mm -hmm. um, those are really nice. One thing that I have noticed lately, I've been, I've gotten into that streaming, and when you when you have a streaming service, you can watch YouTube on your TV. Yes. So it makes it a lot easier if you wanted to watch rather than going to your website and watching your H two O. Go to your YouTube channel, you can watch it on your TV at home. Watch it on the big screen. You can watch it on the big screen. Bigger than life. Yes, <laughs> bigger than life. You can watch Roger's uh, videos of his underwater and all of his other goodies. And you can see what the lure is doing underwater. Underwater, which is a big deal. Yep. So with that, did we cover... 
let's see if we gotten if we got our bases which is the big one is is the website that's where you'd like people uh, yep. looking at ordering from and yeah, if you uh, want to order from H2 Taco to go to the website there's a form you can fill out we don't have a cart at this time something we've looked into but we don't have a cart but you can fill out a form and then it emails to me and then we use okay. PayPal and we'll stuff like that. We'll figure it out. And Raleigh and Helen's does stock their colors. I think it's six different colors. Team Rhino's got their own colors. Right. He's got colors. Yeah, he doesn't have Jeff everything. Does a good he, job. Yeah, Jeff doesn't have the top water, but he's got the crankbaits. Okay. And in in his in his colors. Okay. Uh, the Barbarians, he's got them. But Raleigh and Helen's has got the biggest. They got six colors and all of the plastic ones they have. Okay, good. So. Did we get our let's let's go back to this let's tease everybody with that we'll go back to show everybody the mm -hmm. the, the lures rolling around yeah if you watch if you watch that long enough you'll see a prototype go rolling through there ah see if they can pick out the prototype see if they can pick out the prototype yeah see if we leave that on there if you could pick out and, and you'll the see it yeah yeah it'll come rolling through there that's nice. I liked it. It's, it's, a, it's coming from the left hand side. You, like ah, the first half you're and, even getting better. Yeah, yeah Roger's yeah. getting worse here with with. Uh, you never so, know what I got working here. With that, are we gonna say goodnight to everybody? Yes, sounds good. Okay, hey everybody, I want to say this. Thank you, um, H2O Tackle. Here, let's do this. I know I did it before. H2O Tackle.com. Roger Waters here. Great stuff. I mean, if you're looking for for, you know. And northern guys, I tell north, this is northern is a is yes. a bigger deal than the musky thing. If you're oh, after big fish big and you're pike. looking for bigger bigger lures, and and yes, yes, big big pike, so a seven inch bait is nothing for a big pike. No, not nothing. not at all. Nothing. I mean, most pike fishermen don't have rods that can handle a seven inch bait. Right. Really, for the most part, if they would, they would probably catch. Bigger pike. Bigger pike. And don't discount big bass either. No, because that's no. what those guys down south use. They, yeah. They've cut, they've yeah. learned to use these big baits for yep. big bass. Matter of fact, last time out, my wife and I, she caught a very large smallmouth on a musky bait. I mean, it was a dandy smallmouth. Right. You know, it's like... That's because we got fish management today. People are taking care of the resource. We have yes. fish management. We're getting bigger fish. Yep. The big females that are the big reproducers, people are smart enough now to throw them back. Yes. Eat the smaller ones. You know, yep. throw the bigger ones. Those are our breeders. Those are the ones that keep, that keep the system healthy. Yep. And people are getting smart, and, and they're putting them back. Yep. That's a very good, very good thing. Yes, it is. Very good thing. We get, we get smarter. Hopefully, everybody does here. So with that, everybody, I want to say this, is that, uh, let me do my pitch. If you have an outdoor product, you have an outdoor service, um, you want, I'd love doing this stuff. I'll come... We'll sit down, we'll talk about your products, show everybody, talk about what makes them unique, tell people where they can purchase them, and that's what we enjoy doing. That's what we're doing here at the Outdoor Trade Show Network. And uh, Roger, I know we're going to do a lot more of this because you got a lot more stuff and we got stuff coming down the road here. So. Yes, I, I appreciate it a whole, whole lot. I, I mean, I always enjoy chatting with you. Oh. And sometimes we get a little carried away. People don't understand how much I enjoy doing this. Yes. You know, they just... <laughs> Sometimes I don't think they understand that. I, I enjoy this more than everybody else does. So with that, are we going to say goodnight? Yep, let's say goodnight. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Hopefully your weekend is good.